Hello and welcome to your two-point perspective review and a brief overview of three-point perspective. So to jump back a little bit, back in the day of Art 1-2, uh, we did boxes and letters and one-point perspective. And remember, everything lined up with that one vanishing point, which is why we call it one-point perspective. And we made sure that the lines of convergence lined up with the vanishing point, that when we're cutting someone off, something off, it's parallel and parallel for vertical and horizontal, or even parallel for diagonal. So the same concept applies to two-point perspective, and then it starts changing slightly for three-point perspective. So just remember that you have a vanishing point, you have the, this one's really light, but you have a horizon line, which is also the eye level of the artist. And then we learned later on in Art 1 2 that you can move it up if you want to be looking down at something, and you can move it down if you want to be looking up at something. So you can move the horizon line around. That is true for two point and three point. Okay, so this is what we did for Art 1 2 this year. So, quick review. All right, so this is the 9 by 12 white drawing paper. You'll need your old school wooden pencil, ruler, eraser. That's all you need for this. We are going to divide our paper in half. So this is 12 inches. So we'll divide into six. Or you can just eyeball it halfway. It's totally fine. Uh, remember to make a vertical line, you need to line up the ruler with the top or bottom edge of the paper. So the same is true regardless of what kind of ruler you have. So I'm lining up with the top edge of the paper. Okay, lining up with my little dash lines and I'm checking my spacing. Does it look the same here as it does here? Okay, similar, probably a vertical line. I'm just gonna do a dash line. On one side, we're gonna do two point and on the other side, we're going to do three point. Okay, so for this practice, we're going to put the vanishing point I'm sorry, we're gonna put the horizon line somewhat in the center. So I have my ruler lined up on the left side and I'm just checking my spacing. Does it look about the same top and bottom? We are going to label this horizon line. Or eye level. And yes, you are labeling because I do have a note sheet that goes along with this to kind of help you, but it has the same vocabulary on it that I am using. So um, I'll have that in our Google Classroom for you to refer to. Okay, so with one point perspective, we had one vanishing point. The point at which everything vanishes, one for one point perspective. And two point perspective, we have two vanishing points. So I'm just gonna put it on the end of both. So we have VP1 and we have VP2. That's true for um, one, I'm sorry, that's true for two point and three point. You are always going to have the first two on the horizon line. And for three point perspective, you kind of move and change where you want that third one to go. Okay, so from here on out, I'm going to move fairly quickly. You can always pause and then catch up and then watch a little bit and then pause and then catch up. So it is not necessary for you to um, try to do it as quickly as I am uh, because you're gonna need probably a little bit of extra drawing time. Okay, so for two point perspective and beyond, you always start with a corner. So when you took Art 1-2, we went out into the mall area and drew, and we drew with a corner. So we're gonna make sure they are completely vertical corners in two-point perspective. So I'm gonna do a corner um, above the horizon line. We're gonna do one above and below the horizon line. And we'll do another just below the horizon line or eye level. So I have three corners. Okay. 
So in two point perspective, uh, you only have two vanishing points. So anything to the right of the corner is gonna go to the right vanishing point. So even though this is divided in half, I'm still gonna use the same vanishing points. So the right hand side is going to go to the right vanishing point. So I'm at the bottom of that first corner and I wanna make sure that the corner that I'm using and the vanishing point is on the same side as the ruler. And it continues, but I'm gonna just stop. So I'm gonna stop when it hits this dividing line. But this line of convergence does go all the way to vanishing point number two. Okay, so the top side as well. And it does go all the way, I just stopped. Okay, so the left-hand side of the corner goes to the left vanishing point or vanishing point number one. All right, now, because this is above the horizon line or above the eye level, we can see the underside of what we become like a box or a cube. So in order to know where you're gonna cut it off, we need to cut off the vertical sides. So remembering from art one, two, I'm going to line my ruler up with the bottom edge of the paper or the top edge, one of the two. I have it lined up with that original corner and I'm going to slide it over and cut it off. And so I'm double checking. So I have a little sliver of paper here, a little sliver of paper here, looks about the same. Okay. All right, over here, I'm going to do the same thing. My ruler's lined up at the bottom edge of my paper, and then I'm double checking, double checking my spacing here and here, and with the ruler to the edge of the paper, double checking my spacing from the ruler to the edge of the paper here and here as well. Now I have points to line up my um, back corners with. So you have to kind of ask yourself in reality, if I'm going to do this back side, it's parallel to the front. So the front side uses the right vanishing point. And so therefore, or you can use opposing. So this is on the, the um, left side of the corner, the original corner, so therefore I'm gonna use the right vanishing po point for the bottom side. And I'm gonna stop, but it would continue all the way to that vanishing point. I'm stopping because I'm gonna hit here, and I don't wanna mess up that corner. Okay, so now this is on the right-hand side of the corner, so therefore I'm gonna take this corner and line it up with the left vanishing point. I'm going to stop when I hit itself. So now you have a cube in two-point perspective. I like to clean up as I go. Uh, so um, I'm going to clean up my lines, especially the lines that are going to be overlapping this next one. So we'll do like a tall, skinny one, like kind of like a building. Because many of you will probably choose to draw buildings for three points. Okay. So now I'm gonna do this corner, which is above and below, which means I won't really be able to see the, the underside and I won't be able to see the top like I will here. I'll just be able to see the front and the sides. All right, so this is the right-hand side of the corner. I'm using my right vanishing point and it would continue all the way, but I'm going to stop so I have less to erase. So we're working smarter, not harder. Okay, right side again and it would go all the way to the right vanishing point. Notice how my corner and my vanishing point are on the same side as the ruler. Okay, left side, going to the left vanishing point. So anything to the left goes to the left, anything to the right goes to the right when you first start. And then it's just a matter of cutting it off. So maybe I want this side to be skinnier so I'm going to line up with the bottom edge of my paper. You can do the top edge. I'm going to double check my spacing here and here. Does it look the same? Yes. If it didn't, so let's say it was your ruler was like this. Well, the spacing doesn't look the same, which means that is not a vertical line. And having a vertical line is half the effort of getting an A. It's just making sure you're checking is your ruler lined up. 
And then let's do like a longer side over here. So I'm checking the, sorry, so you can see it. Checking the paper, is my ruler lined up? Okay, does my spacing look similar? Yep, okay, then I'll cut it off. Okay, so then with my pink eraser, because I want to save my pencil eraser. And I would clean up what I don't need, so I don't really need the horizon line in there anymore. Now I have a, a block-like structure. All right, same for the bottom. So remember, um, this top cube is above the eye level, so you can see the underside. So in three-point perspective, sometimes you do have to ask yourself, like, where is it according to the horizon line or eye level, and what part can I see of it, or would I be able to see? Okay, so this corner down here, we're going to line up the right-hand side with the right vanishing point. And I'm going to stop, but that line does go all the way to this right vanishing point. Okay, then the left hand side of the corner goes to the left vanishing point. Okay, so since this is below the horizon line or below the eye level, we would be able to see the top of the structure, the cube, or whatever it's going to be. So we need to cut it off to know what we're lining up. So I'm going to cut off, actually I'm going to go really big, like it, like this piece is on top of this piece. Okay, so I have my roller lined up, I'm checking my spacing, but then I also have this other corner here, so I'm checking that spacing too, like double check, double check, double check yourself. Maybe. I don't know what that actually is going to look like. We'll see. Okay. So then I'm lined up at the bottom of my paper, checking my spacing. All right. Cutting it off. So notice how those lines are parallel, parallel, parallel. They're vertical. All the cutoffs are parallel and vertical for two points. Okay. So now for that top edge. So now I'm going to take this corner. It's on the right-hand side of the original corner. And I'm going to line it up with the left vanishing point. Because this side lines up with the left. In reality, it would be parallel. So therefore, it uses the same vanishing point. So that's the other way that you can kind of question yourself if that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, disregard. But like, what is it parallel to? It uses the same vanishing point. So now this, this one is on the uh, left side of the corner, so therefore I'm gonna use the right vanishing point. And it would continue, but then I'm just gonna stop. Okay, so it didn't end up being as big as I wanted to, but that's okay. You guys are gonna do sketches anyway. You're gonna try out what you want. So because this one is below the horizon line or eye level, you can see the top of the structure, cube, box, whatever. Okay, this is part one. In part two, we're going to do three-point perspective. And I might even add a little bit of detail to that side. Let's see how long it takes us. We might have a part three, or we'll just continue on with the next, next practice. Okay, so you just finished your two-point perspective practice. Congratulations. Move on to part two.